Right, I'm making this video, video to show you something that really annoys me. Uh, first, before we begin, I do have internet access. I'm going to try to start up Mass Effect 3. And just to prove that I do have internet access, I'm going to ping, ping something. So I can, I can ping Google, for example. So, ping's the basic tool. It, uh, this is like just to prove that your internet works. Oh, see? I, I pinged Google's website and they actually pinged me back and so like I said hello and then they said hello back. That wouldn't work if I didn't have internet access. Um, Origin is going to take a while. I've uh, Origin service seems to be down. So it's really frustrating. Let's do a trace route just to kill some time. I live in southern Illinois and I subscribe to Mediacom, so I'm guessing like guessing like this router's name, like MC might stand for Mediacom. Maybe I actually don't know. <laughs> Last time I did this, I hit a bunch of routers that, that I bet were in Springfield because they like their names they were named things like Lincoln, but this time I'm hitting AT and T routers, so but then again, I mean just because the router's named Lincoln probably just means it's somewhere in Illinois doesn't mean it I hit Springfield or anything. I didn't check the uh, the IPs or anything like that. Hmm, and Origin is taking quite a while to start up. Really long time. Hmm, yeah. Nope, I um, didn't hit anything named Lincoln. I kind of wonder where these routers are, but, you know, I'm don't really feel like I need to check that. Hmm. But anyway, so I have internet access, but Origin, um, EA's Origin servers must be down or something. Pretty frustrating to me. Especially just like having to wait for this, uh, wait very long time for the start. Steam used to be like this. They've, uh, they've since fixed the problem. Even if you uh, set Steam to like to to play games in offline mode, um, it used to uh, that used to fail more than half the time, but it seems to work all the time now. And even if you don't shut Steam down properly, the time before it'll still you know let you play your stuff. But I did shut Origin down properly the last time, but it still can't seem to get access to to its servers. So I'm gonna punch in my login. Mass Effect should launch. Let's see. Um, this happened once before with Mass Effect 3. Oh, what? M yes. It didn't ask me this last time. I, I don't care about my cloud data. And obviously, it can't sync it because the, the servers aren't up. Okay. Yay, Mass Effect startup. And then, uh, Mass Effect games, they always, like, massively freeze when they're, like, uh, when they're trying to check for, uh, for, for their DRM. Oh. Unable to authorize the list of DLC, which is every single piece because I bought all of it. Now I just want to play my game. And I can't. Why can't I? Because EA says I can't. I've spent well over a hundred dollars just on Mass Effect 3 and all of its additional downloadable content. And if I had pirated the game, I would be able to play it right now. This wouldn't happen. This wouldn't be happening. But I was a good person, and I played by the rules, and I'm getting burned by the rules because EA has not held up to its promise. Whether or not it's legally obligated to, I don't know. Because, I mean, I did read the terms of service, but I didn't understand the terms of service. So, 
I'm getting burned for giving my money to the developers and the publishers and the resellers and I'm getting burned and I don't feel good about this at all don't feel good I feel really angry right now actually I just wanted to play Mass Effect 3 that's all I wanted to do but now I can't and I'm ranting but I feel entitled to be able to rant because this happened and it's not fair so mmm if I had pirated the game this wouldn't be happening it just wouldn't happen but no but no oh freaking no I don't care about cloud data